why do I have to know this? This is a question that is asked by students all over the world every single day in mathematics classes. A student will raise their hand and they'll ask the teacher, why do I have to know this? It's a really good question. And a lot of times the answer is really hard. What I used to do when I didn't have a good answer is I would say something like, well, it'll help you when you go shopping at Walmart or just, you know, something like that. But a lot of times there is an answer. For example, if you're a student in a college algebra class, and let's say you are a psychology major and you're learning about logarithms, you might ask, why do I have to know about logarithms? What is the point? From the teacher's perspective, you have to know about logarithms because that's part of the class, right? That's what they're supposed to teach. And in this particular case, college algebra is often viewed as a stepping stone to higher level math. In order to take pre-calculus, typically in the US, you first take college algebra. So the material taught in that class is in some sense a prereq for another class. And that's why it's actually taught in the class because the way mathematics works is it builds, right? It builds. So math builds on math. So in order to take, let's say calculus, you'd have to take pre-calculus and trig. But the question still stands. If you are a psychology major and you are in a college algebra class, why do you personally have to know this? And the answer is, I don't really know. Teachers don't really make the decision as to what's taught in classrooms. That's done by some higher power. Usually I believe in the US, the state has a big say in what's taught in specific classes. And I don't know how all that's determined. I'm not really sure. And honestly, I've never been that interested in it and I've never been that interested in finding out why. My perspective was always very different. So when I was in college, I had to take a bunch of classes, just like you if you're a student. And my perspective was that I'm going to college because, well, I wanted to change my life. I wanted to get a better job. I wanted to get a job that I wouldn't hate and make a decent living so I could live and afford food and have a place to live. It's what everyone wants. Everyone wants a nice place to live and, and food and to have some type of happy life. And that's why I went to college. And that's why most people go to college is because they want to improve their lives. And so I thought that I would do just whatever it takes. I would take whatever classes I'm told to take and I'm just gonna suck it up and do it and not ask questions. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't ask questions. I think it's important to question things, but I just always assume that it was part of being educated. You know, you go to college and you study humanities, you study American government. Ugh, I really did not like that class. That was, that's a whole nother video um, that caused a lot of stress. <laughs> so you take biology, you know, I did not want to take that class either. You know, why does a math major need biology, right? So you kind of just suck it up and do it. And I think honestly, I think that might be a better way to deal with it because if you ask the question, which you can ask, sometimes the answers aren't really satisfactory. And that's why usually when I didn't have a good answer for the student, I would brush it off with a joke. But the reality is the material that's taught in your math classes is being taught because it's a prereq for other math. And at the end of the day, the teacher doesn't really have that much say into what's actually being taught. I mean, teachers have a lot of leeway. You can teach extra stuff, but there's certain core things you're supposed to cover in every class. For example, in a college algebra class, typically you cover you know, logarithms, exponentials, polynomial functions, quadratic equations. You wanna cover all the topics. That's the job of a teacher, right? Is to teach the students, to help the students, to be available there and to teach what's supposed to be taught so that when students go to other classes and they're expected to know all this math, that they actually have seen it and hopefully they understand some of it. So that's the answer. I think the best answer is brush it off with a joke or realize that it's being taught because it's a prereq for other math. So I guess the point of this video is if you're watching this video and you're thinking, why do I have to know this stuff? Why do I have to take college algebra and learn logarithms? Why do I have to take biology if I'm a math major? At the end of the day, you can ask those questions, but the answers might not be satisfactory because 
there's a lot of things in the world that may or may not make sense. You know, why do you pay taxes in some states and then you cross some imaginary line and you're in another state and you don't pay taxes? You know, why are certain things legal in certain places and they're not legal in other places? A lot of things are just arbitrary. And I think that asking why is good, but you don't want to get hung up on the why because the most important thing from the whole college experience is you and it's your success in college. And I think that a lot of times people get hung up on the why and they let it hurt them. They, they let it hold them back. I've had students that literally can't progress because they're so hung up on the why. Not necessarily in my class, but sometimes they're in other teachers' classes. You know, they might be taking a statistics class with another teacher and they're thinking, I hate this class. I don't understand what's going on. Why do I have to know this stuff? What benefit is it going to bring my life? When I'm done with my degree, I want to work in construction doing X, Y, Z because I want to be an architect. Why do I need these skills? And they get hung up on that. And they kind of use that as an excuse to not work on their class, which basically hurts them and hurts their future. So if you're watching this video and you're hung up on the why, try to let it go, right? Try to let it go and realize that there are reasons, right? Just like there's reasons for other things in the world that don't make sense. I'm sure there's reasons and I'm sure people have thought about why we need to know these things and that's why they're in place. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it is kind of a random video, but I wanted to make this because I've seen a lot of people get hung up on the why. And I know that a lot of you watching this are probably hung up on the why. Like, why do I need this? Why, why, why? And at the end of the day, you can ask why all day long, but it's not going to change the fact that the most important thing is that you need to get out there and you need to succeed and you need to do well. So don't let the why hold you back. I never had a big problem with the why. I was pretty good at, again, just accepting it, realizing it that part of getting a degree in college is becoming what's called educated. You want to be well-rounded. You want to learn about history so you can learn from the mistakes of the past, so you can learn about things that happened in the past, so that when current events happen today, you can look back and say, oh, that's kind of like this. Maybe that's not good, or maybe that is good. You want to learn about science. You want to learn about math. You want to learn about people. You want to become a well-rounded individual and hopefully contribute something to the society, the society you live in. If you live in a certain country, you know, you, you have rules that you abide by. Same thing in college, right? You take classes that you're just supposed to take. And I'm not saying it's not good to ask. I'm just saying sometimes it just is. Just a random video. Don't, don't get hung up on the why, okay? Focus on your success. Keep pushing forward. If you want to learn mathematics, I do have math courses. They are on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Um, they're actually on Udemy, but please use the links through my website. I have courses on all kinds of stuff and you can learn about logarithms. I have a college algebra course and calculus courses as well, but yeah. So why do you have to know this? The answer is it depends, right? If, if you are going into something where you're going to be using that subject, obviously it's going to help you. But at the end of the day, some higher power said, these are the classes you have to take. And in order for you to succeed, you have to take them and you have to push through it. So don't get hung up on the why. Go out there and do some mathematics. Good luck.